Half-Life just lost someone very key indeed, as Mark Laidlaw, the Valve veteran who wrote Half-Life, its expansions, and of course the sequel, is now no longer employed at the company. Laidlaw has said that he had left Valve after a staggering 18 years at the company, and in a message which was shared on the Half-Life subreddit, he went into a fair bit of detail as to why now seemed like a good time to call it quits after a seriously long time. And he said, quote, There are many reasons, most of them personal. An outwardly obvious reason is that I'm old, or anyway, old-ish. And when, obviously, people were concerned, like, what does this mean for Half-Life? Laidlaw answered simply, I don't and can't entirely know. And he continued, quote, Half-Life is fully owned by Valve. It came into existence before my arrival. Where Valve may choose to take it in the future is not in my hands. Now, history and gaming history buffs will probably know that Laidlaw only began at Valve during the development of Half-Life, uh, but his writing career stretches way back before that. Before entering into gaming, he was primarily in the realms of sci-fi and horror fiction. One of his novels, which uh, came out in 1988, Neon Lotus, was nominated for the prestigious Philip K. Dick Award. And apparently one of the key reasons for his retirement was basically the desire to get back into his novelist beginnings. And he said, quote, Lately I've been feeling a need for a break from the collaborative chaos of game production and a return to, to more self-directed writing projects. Now, obviously people want to know, well, what are you working on, Mark? You know, your writing was so good. What, you know, when can we read this? What is it going to be about? And he said, quote, I will almost certainly get back to writing more stories of my own. That's simply my default setting. It feels like the time is right to turn to my roots and see where that takes me. It might well take me back into games by other routes, but that's currently not part of the plan. I'll be exploring for a while. And naturally, even though he is leaving the company, he did spend 18 years there, so he finished up by expressing some goodwill and, of course, fondness for the company where he spent a decent chunk of his life. He said, quote, Valve has been my second home and a great many, sorry, a great home to a many of my dreams and ambitions for over 18 years. I will always have a connection to the company, the many friends I made there, the games I worked on, and especially the characters I helped create. So what can we say but a fond farewell to Mark Laidlaw and I wish him all the best and hopefully he can let us know when his next new novel or whatever it happens to be actually comes out. I'm sure we'd all love to enjoy more of his writing, one of the Many, many elements that made Half-Life, Half-Life 2, and of course the expansions and all that good stuff so memorable even after all these years. What this means for the future of Half-Life, it's probably going to have quite an impact. Obviously Valve knew this was coming, but having a key person leave after so long is definitely going to be felt, especially if they're working on a much-awaited sequel. Thanks very much for watching. Best of luck to Mark. I'll see you next time.